Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to order a set of fractions. So to order a set of fractions, you'll need to convert your fractions so that the fractions will all have the same denominator, so the bottom number must be the same. And then it's pretty easy to sort then from smallest to biggest. So let's have a look at the first example here. So we've got to order these fractions, 3 tenths, 1 eighth and 2 fifths. Okay, so we just need to now work out the lowest common multiple of our denominators. Okay, so I'm just going to write down my multiples of 10. I'm just going to start off with 5. If I need to do any more, I can come back to them later. Let's do our multiples of 8. And let's do our multiples of 5. So, so far we haven't got a common multiple of our three numbers. Uh, I'm just going to continue with the 5s. Because I think it's looking like 40. So there you go. So our lowest common multiple of our denominators is 40. Okay. So we're going to convert all our fractions to 40ths okay so how many times did 10 go into 40 it went 1 2 3 4 so we need to multiply our top number here by 4 3 times 4 is 12 so 3 tenths is the same as 12 40ths let's change 1 eighth now so how many times did 8 go into 40 it went 1 2 3 4 5 so we need to times our top number here by 5. So 1 times 5 is 5. And our final fraction, how many times did 5 go into 40? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So our final fraction needs to multiply by 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. Okay, so they're now pretty easy to find out which one's the smallest. We just need to look at the top numbers. So 5 40ths is the smallest fraction, so that is 1 8th. Make sure you write down the original fraction. Then it'll be 12 40ths, so that is 3 tenths. And then our biggest fraction uh, is 16 40ths, which was 2 fifths. Okay, so let's have a look at our second example then. So this time we've got four fractions. So we've got 5, 6, 7 ninths, 5 twelfths, 3 quarters. So we need to make the denominators of all the fractions the same. Um, so we need to look for our lowest common multiple of 6, 9, 12 and 4. So let me start with the 6's. So we've got 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. And I'm going to keep going on this one because I have a feeling it's going to be quite big. So I'm going to write down the first 10. So 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. Let's do our 9s. So we've got 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and 90. Our 12s, we've got 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. 72, 84, 96, 108, 120. And our fours, we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. So we need to look for our common multiple. I think it's looking at 36. Okay, so we've got 36 in all the multiples. Okay, so that's what we're going to change all the denominators to. Okay, so how many times did 6 go into 36? It went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need to times the first fraction by 6. So 5 times 6 is 30. How many times did 9 go into 36? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 
this one we need to multiply by 4. 7 times 4 is 28. How many times did 12 go into 36? 1, 2, 3. So we need to multiply this one by 3. So 5, 3 is 15. How many times did 4 go into 36? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This one's times 9. 3 9's are 27. So again, we just need to look at our numerators now to find out our smallest fraction. So it's looking like 15 out of 36, which was 5 twelfths. So our next smallest one would be 27 out of 36, which was 3 quarters. Our next smallest is 28 out of 36, which was 7 ninths. And our biggest one was 30 out of 36, which was 5 sixths. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for all your support on YouTube. Bye-bye.